This is the 10th video on covering the questions from MIT 2006 Integration B. And I thought we can try out something more challenging than usual. And the question is integral from 0 to pi of sine of 21 over 2x divided by sine of x over 2 dx. And this looks pretty crazy. You have sine of, not, this isn't even a integer, it's 21 over 2, and you have sine of x over 2, and this, this just looks mind-boggling. How do we even start this? And one way of starting this is by realizing that this, this entire fraction, this entire fraction, sine of 21 over 2x over sine of x over 2 is in a special case of Dirichlet kernel. Dirich, if I can spell it right, Dirichlet kernel. This is actually d sub 10 of x. And you may say, what am I talking about? Well, a Dirichlet kernel is a collection of functions in the form d sub n of x is equal to sine, sine of n plus 1 half of x divided by sine of x over 2. And in our case, we have sine of we have sine of 21 over 2, which is the same thing as 10 plus 1 half, because 10 is 20 over 2. So we have 10 plus 1 half x divided by sine of x over 2. So in our case, our n is 10. So we have d sub 10 of x. So we are integrating a special case of Dirichlet kernel or d sub 10 of x with our n value equal to 10. This n value is 10 in our case. And it turns out, and it turns out d sub 10 of x can be simplified as 1 plus 2 times summation from k equals to 1. I'm not going to use i to to just to make sure we don't we don't confuse the index with imaginary number. I'm going to use k from k equals 1 to n. In our case, our n is 10 of cosine of kx. And similarly, you can show that d sub n of x is equal to 1 plus 2 times summation from k equals 1 to n. In our case, our n was 10 of cosine of kx. And I'm going to prove this for this specific case, for d sub 10 of x. But in fact, using what I show you in this video, you can generalize it just by doing more work with, with ambiguous, the ambiguous n instead of specific 10. You can come up with a general formula, 1 plus 2 times summation from k equals 1 to n of cosine of kx. But in our video, we're just going to prove this specific part. But I highly encourage you to extend my argument so it covers, so it covers any general case of Dirichlet function. Anyways, now let's try to now let's try to prove this argument. So I want to prove the sine of 21 over 2x over sine of x over 2 is equal to this thing. 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 2 times summation from k equals 1 to 10 of cosine of kx. And you may say, what am I even saying with this expression? Well, this expression is the same thing as 1 plus 2 times, and I'm summing this up, changing the value of k from 1 to 10. So I'm basically adding up cosine of k, cosine of 1x, k is 1. So I'm adding up cosine of x plus cosine of 2x plus cosine of 3x dot dot dot, all the way to cosine of 10x. So this is what I'm suggesting, that this, these two expressions are basically the same. And you may say, how? So I'm going to show you. So let's focus on this line to begin with. I'm going to start by multiplying by sine of x over 2. Sine of x over 2. So I'm going to multiply both sides by sine of x over 2 to get multiplying 1 by sine of x over 2 gets us sine of x over 2. And since sine of x over 2 is independent of k, it does not depend on k, since you don't have any k within sine of x over 2, we can just put it inside the summation. So I'm going to write it like this, cosine of kx times sine of x over 2. Before I go on any farther, I want to make a point. You may say, what's the point of proving this? You want to integrate this from 0 to pi. We want to integrate this from 0 to pi. And you may say, what is the point of changing this to this form, and I'm going to tell you, we can integrate cosine of x, 
we can integrate cosine of 2x, we can integrate cosine of 3x, we can integrate all the way up to cosine of 10x, but we cannot integrate this right away. So if we can prove this statement that sine of 21 over 2x over sine of x over 2 is 1 plus 2 times this summation, now you can integrate this easily. It's going to take some steps, obviously, but now you can integrate it. So we wish to prove this to prove that we can put this expression in the form of an expression that we can integrate. So let's, so that's why I'm doing this. Uh, maybe I should have made a statement earlier, but maybe you realized it. But I'm going to continue simplifying this and see if we get the same thing on both sides of the equation. And now I'm going to use the, the trig identity, the product to sum identity. We have cosine of something times sine of something else and it turns out cosine of a times not cosine sine of b sine of b cosine of a times sine of b is equal to one half times sine of a plus b minus sine of a minus b and you may say why and it's not very hard to prove this product to some identity. You just have to expand sine of a plus b and sine of a minus b. Cancel out the cancel out the repeated ones with plus and minus and divide by one half. And it shouldn't be too hard, given that you know sine of a plus b and sine of a minus b, to prove this expression, prove this prove this identity. And I'm going to leave that to you guys. I may make a future video proving this, but for now, let's say we know this product to some identity and I'm going to continue but instead of writing it like this I'm going to write it as negative sine of a minus b plus sine of a plus b I'm just switching this part and this part and you may say why am I writing it like this and the reason is I want to make sure the cancellation in the telescoping series is going to be more explicit and you may say what and I'm going to show you what I'm trying to say. So let's continue simplifying this. E is equal to sine of x over 2 plus 2 times summation from k equals 1 to 10 of, in, in our case, we have cosine of a, a is kx, and sine of b, b is x over 2. So we have 1 half times negative sine of a minus b, or kx minus x over 2, plus sine of a plus b, kx plus x over 2, and this 2 and 1 f cancel out. So we are left with sine of x over 2 plus the summation from k equals 1 to 10 of, of negative sine of, let me factor out x on this side, of x times k minus 1 half plus sine, factor out x, x times k plus 1 half. So this crazy expression. And let me now actually try to evaluate this. E is equal to sine of x over 2. Let's plug k equals 1 into this expression. Plus negative sine of x times when k is 1, this thing becomes 1 half. So you have x over 2. Plus when k, when k is 1, we have sine of 1 plus 1 half, which is 3 halves. So 3 halves x. Let's continue this. Now I'm going to do another plus. Now let's let k be 2. When k is 2, you have minus sine of... When k is 2, you have 3 halves. 2 minus 1 half is 3 halves. 3 halves x plus sine of... Now it's going to be 5 halves x. And you can continue this, but you may see something. The, the sine of 3 halves and minus sine of 3 halves are canceling out. And sine of x over 2 and minus sine of x over 2 are canceling out. And that's why I wrote this expression like this to make sure the cancellation is easier to see. So let me continue this. Plus, now you're going to have minus sine of 5 half x plus sine of 7 half x, which is obviously sine of 5 half x are going to cancel out with this one. And you can continue this all the way up till when you plug 10 into this expression, negative sine of, when you plug 10, you get 19 over 2x plus sine of 21 over 2x and everything up to up till this cancels out so we are left with this entire expression turns out to be sine of 21 over 2x as we wished to show okay so we know 
we know we can write this entire expression, the integral from 0 to pi of sine of 21 over 2x over sine of x over 2 as integral from 0 to pi of 1 plus 2 times summation from k equals 1 to 10 of cosine of kx dx. Now what do we do? Now let's try to actually integrate this. We are so close to being done. Let's, let's try to finish this up. Integrating 1 gets us pi plus 2 times, now you have integral from 0 to pi of this summation, cosine of kx, let me just write it as cosine of x, plus cosine of 2x, plus cosine of 3x, all the way, all the way to cosine of 10x, plus cosine of 10x dx. And how do we find this? Well, when you integrate cosine of x, you get sine of x, and when you go from 0 to pi, because sine of pi is 0 and sine of 0 is 0, this part is going to turn out to be 0, because sine of x at pi is 0, sine of x at 0 is 0. How about cosine of 2x? Integrating, integrating this gets us 1 half sine of 2x, plugging 0 and pi into it, well, sine of 2 pi is 0, sine of, pi, sine of 0 is 0, so this part is going to be 0 also. How about cosine of 3x? Well, we get one third sine of 3x from 0 to pi, cosine of, I, I, mean, I meant sine of 3 pi is 0, sine of 0 is 0, so this is going to be 0 all the way to cosine of 10x. So this entire expression is going to be 0. So what's our final answer? Our answer is pi plus 2 times 0, also known as pi. So, uh, you may say, oh my gosh, that turned out to be so much easier than it, than it seemed like. And the answer is, well, the answer may be easy, but the process is not as easy. So, we applied, let's review, we applied Dirichlet kernel. We realized that this is in the form of Dirichlet kernel. We proved a special case of this summation theorem. And we used that fact to integrate this expression from 0 to pi. And our final answer was simply pi.